Hello, everyone. Welcome to Spooky Night. I'm your host, Cat, with my friend, Killed Off Queer, to my above Hi, me. Everybody. Yay! Yay! Uh, shout out to Arctic Burrito who subbed when before we went live. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be playing some Rule of Rose. Uh, today, and we're also going to be playing some anatomy. So, yeah, look forward to that. Oh, I'm, I don't have the game music up. Here, let me turn it up. Should we watch this intro? Yes, please. The, the, I feel like favorite. the intro. I watch it every time. Yeah, the intro is iconic. Should I like reset the PS2 so it starts at the beginning? Yeah. yeah I'll just really quick uh, reach over. Restart. Brown. Okay. Brown! All right. So, like, Rule of Rose is a very weird, weird game. Um, it's janky as hell. It's, it's very rare. Um, and it's a, it, it got banned in Australia, I think. Yeah. I would argue mainly due to homophobia. Yeah. I, I I think you're right. Like it's yeah. not it's it's not like it it has problematic things, but it's not like I don't know. It's not like satanic or I don't know. It's it's not like that bad in my opinion, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, they attached themselves to a certain imagery, just the fact that it had little girls in it. Yeah, for um, sure. The interesting thing though is I actually think I think it does a much better job at exploring trauma and abuse and um uh the last of us neil Druckmann, he talked about how he masked us too about universal hate and i think that it was a very childish exploration of that yeah but when it comes to rule of rose i feel like they succeeded at what neil Druckmann was trying to do so much better because it really shows like the different sides of toxic love toxic or, or or and hate in response to love being scorned you know yeah no i i agree with that fully um this intro this intro is wild i love the intro i know i will say um i can't hear the audio but oh i think i i think i, I, think I muted audio. it that's why yay Ooh. <sighs> sorry if it's echoing anyone I'll try to fix yeah. that. No. I'm such a fan of the magical realism. Yeah, the it's surrealism. It's such a weird, weird plot. Like, <laughs> who who wrote this? I, I'm gonna look it up. Yeah. Hey, trying to watch a bit, but I may have to step out. No worries, just hang out. Have you read these lyrics? I have not. It's all very thematically appropriate. I'll have to check it out. I want to be dead when I it's written by three people, it says. I don't know any of them, though. I just, there's also something about Japan always writing these. They're really influenced by, like, Western media. Like, this is about... Also interesting that this is about, um, I think, like, 1940 England? Yeah, I think it's 1930s. That setting? Yeah. That is a... I don't know, anything through the Japanese perspective just has has um, a lot for me to analyze. Even just, like, like regular kaiju, you know? Yeah. We're well, it's interesting because it's, it's, like, England, right? But it's talking about a very, as far as... I know a very Japanese thing, which is like bullying. 
Yeah. So it's like yeah. it's using this this like vector of like English uh, veneer to talk about like a very Japanese thing, I think. Yeah. And also, but they also use aristocracy. Yeah. Um, which is like I. I actually, one thing that really enriched my understanding of this game was Ragnarok's. He's a YouTuber. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's before. super good. Yeah, he yeah, he did one on this, and he just pointed out all the political uh, insinuations of this game with the, like, classism. And, yeah. Like, the, in a, like, basically pitting classes against each other. Right. Because you do see, like, one of the most scorned little girls ends up bullying you just so she can be accepted. Yep. Yep. Uh, how? Yeah, I think it's a very deep and rich game. And What was that? Oh, I was just going to say, I forgot how long this intro scene is. It is, it is, it is pretty long. Not that it's a bad thing. I was just like, damn, this is longer than, like, Final Fantasy. Yeah. A little short movie. Brown! Um, I was gonna say. Yeah, this this game is bizarre. The, 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 the story is bizarre. The theming is bizarre. Just, like, everything about it is strange. It wasn't until earlier this year, or last year, that um, it kind of really hit me with the what the themes really were exploring. The lyrics themselves, they mention um, they mention what they say: love is pure white and it's greedy, just like sin, you know. And it it just really made me think of like. I know it sounds a little personal, but it reminded me of my parents' childhood because they dealt with a lot of trauma and abuse. And while this game shows, as you can see, things like that, um, ultimately it seems to have uh, a like sympathetic approach, approach that's not necessarily trying to exploit trauma just so they can show trauma on screen, but to right. really kind of have like a healing um approach to like those kinds of things which is fantastic survival horror is like notorious for the opposite also yeah there's like big trans vibes in this game like extreme yes. <laughs> extremely high trans vibes in this game yeah yeah this is why i got banned this pretty much it's exactly, exactly this part which is so sad because it's like it's like so innocuous like there is like sketchy shit in this game don't get me wrong but it's i feel like 90 percent of it is queer panic like yeah yeah which in of itself reflects what the game was trying to yeah. like make a comment on is like, like just how we punish those for no reason yeah all right, that was a long intro. I know, hooray. All right, new game. The other thing is, you know, it uses children as the main antagonists, which also make them some of those, the most dynamic villains. Yeah. Because you, you can actually, you realize that they're all kind of a product of trauma that they that befell them as through the hands of the adults who are supposed to care for them. Yeah. Oh god, this voice. The game audio is pretty low. Let me crank it. It was so loud before. <laughs> oh, are there comments being written? Oh, yeah, that was. Yeah. Yeah. 
and suit up. Jennifer, Jennifer, play with me, Jennifer. Jennifer. Read the story, please read the story. Now, how do we feel about spoilers? Next? Um, eh. I mean, how does the chat feel about spoilers? Does anyone care? Let me know. What's this? Much better. Okay, cool. <laughs> My friend Jen says, oh god, I forgot her name was Jennifer. Oh no! <laughs> Wait. Please. Uh, uh, oh. I would love to cosplay as her. Oh my so god, much. you should. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> the most obscure shit. I don't care about spoilers. How old is this game anyway? Inevitable spoilers, okay. Okay, this game is from yeah. 2006, so... I will say when I when I played it and beat it, it was like probably twenty two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I got it for seven dollars. Wow! Because, yeah. Do you still have it? Um, game crates. I do. I do. Um, not no box art or anything, mm -hmm. but I got it for seven dollars at Game Crazy. That's because awesome. they didn't know the price of it. There's like here's some shitty game. Once upon a time, there was a precious little girl. Her friend, Princess of the Red Rose, was always at her side. Then one day, her mummy and daddy died suddenly. The princess, too, uh, disappeared, leaving the little girl all alone. And the poor little girl was sent away to a strange house. Oh, you can keep flipping the pages. I don't know that. Uh, my friend Sophia says, I think 15 years is long enough to wait for spoilers. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know. I just like to, to ask. I know. My Discord group, they're like really into spoiler tagging. Even stuff like Final Fantasy VII. I'm like, okay. I, I, <laughs> I do similar things just to try to be considerate. But yeah, I, I'm with you. It'd uh, be amazing if you didn't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> In Final Fantasy VII. I would also want to preserve that. Uh, a, mis a mysterious, unthinkable, filthy tale. However, the young girl, Jennifer, had no choice but to surrender to the unsettling predicament. Oh, what an unlucky girl. Oops, I probably shouldn't be playing this in the, the game streaming thing itself, but it's fine. I can switch it if it's... If Why, it's really dark? And it's it's dark and there's probably gonna be input lag, but it's fine. Oh yeah. If it, if it's too bad, I'll I'll switch over. I might have to dim my room a bit. Oh yeah, it's really bright in your room. Can I do? Do I just yeah. go to the bus stop or? A weathered bench sits near the bus stop. Okay. Bus stop, Rose Garden. I had to look up a. Oh, that's much better. Uh, the area is dimly lit by the pale lamp light. Okay. I feel like... Do I... I think you go to the left and then forward. Okay. Maybe up here. I think through the gate, perhaps? This looks like... There's a... Towards the center where the bus... Oh, no, you found Strange it. Strange hill. I won't bike soon. Back. Oh, you can backseat. Guests are. I remember this part was really hard. Guests are allowed to backseat. Yay. Also, if I ask for it, then fuck it. There she goes. This was yeah, 2006 was very late for the PS2's life cycle. I feel like. The girl approached the sign. She heard a dog's bark. It sounded strangely familiar to her and it beckoned her to come. Part of me that made me want to stream. The two things I wanted to stream when I started streaming was Rule of Rose and Silent Hill 3. Yeah. And one of the main reasons I wanted to stream this was because it's so janky, nobody's ever going to play it. Right. But I think it's like a really awesome story and peaceful too. <laughs> There's an old padlock on the door. However, it's not locked. 
Rickety shed. Yeah, the, the like the story in this is so confusing. Just cuz like there's like multiple realities overlapping each other. Yeah. And also like it's also ludicrous like her whole thing is that her parents, I believe, spoiler, um died <laughs> in, in a blimp accident yeah so that alone is pretty weird yeah <laughs> but, um and but yet instead of being sent to the orphanage she gets sent to this guy's farmhouse and he dresses her up as a boy and calls him joshua because his kid died yeah it's very strange yeah and then she makes friends with wendy who is a girl at the orphanage and they become best friends it's a rusted well Okay. Where am I going? I don't I think this is the end of this area. Yeah, I think you go there, then you continue along the path. Oh, whoa, oh, hey. You know what? I always wanted this when I play this game. I'm gonna go look at the walkthrough just to get things going. And if you need help, yeah. I'll tell you. Right, let me very quickly switch over my monitors. So I can see a little bit better. Pulling up the game fact. The, oh, hell the yeah. <laughs> All right. Just one sec. I'm just going to. Oh. Can it not do both? Let's see. Yeah, it's so dark. I like can't see it at all. You know. Um, there we go. If you need to sacrifice my audio, that's fine. Oh, you're good. Okay. Here, I can try to actually. Let me see if I can. I'm much more interested in the anatomy audio than Rule of Rose, since I already have yeah. Rule of Rose memorized. Yeah, I don't know why it like doesn't. It's very fickle with the audio. Uh, okay, let's see. Sorry, y'all, one sec. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately I cannot right. give you the audio like, That's fine. like this. Okay. I mean, I could hear it right now. Okay, cool. And I know what you're supposed to do now, so. Is it this way? Am I going the right way? I think you're going the right way if you're following the main path. Yeah. Until you come to a gate. Did I In run? these old horror games, it's always kind of the beginning. That is you running. <laughs> oh, is it? Is it? Yeah. Oh my god. I think so. Kind of like the Fatal Frame series. Yeah, oh my god. She walks so slow. So, so slow. Following the boy up the road. She came upon a huge old mansion. For some reason, this place seems familiar to the unlucky girl. I wonder, can I change the dark brightness? Probably not. It's not one of those kinds of games. You might be able to. It's really janky. It is lovely lit, after all. Oh, God. Children with bags over their heads are beating something with a large stick. The unlucky girl was frightened and backed away from the gate. Bye! And then, from here, I think you just go left. That's oh. the part. It just shows it again. Not in the gate, but, like, left, left of oh, the God gate. Oh, God damn it. Yeah. Lovely PS2. Left up the gate. Yay. We're doing it. 
and hopefully it gets much brighter when not when in you're not dark, in the dark yeah point. I will say that the emulator um, with this game, apparently this game looks amazing on emulator. I believe that. When I was when I was playing it, I guess they just did a bunch of updates mm -hmm. to it. Oh my god, the the sounds are creepy. Just the yeah. the kid sounds. Yeah, no one likes kid giggling. Hi, random, but is this a tank control game like RE? No, it's not. I think you're going backwards now. Oh, shit. It's just, yeah. It, <laughs> the issue is the fixed camera angles. I get all turned around. There we go. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why they had tank controls back then, is for the fixed camera angle. Yeah. No one allowed without a pass. About using items. At certain locations, you can use your items to interact with your surroundings. Okay. This. I'm still working my way through Fatal Frame 3 right now. Oh my god, I love also, that one. Yeah. That one's also interesting because they, I mean, it's exploration of PTSD and survivor's guilt. Yeah. Which is, seems cool. Yeah, no, uh. La 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 la. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Uh, killed off queer. You you like you like near in Dragon Guard. Have you ever watched the original playthrough of Dragon Guard One? Um, not all the way, no. Have, but I have watched all the lore. Have you seen like Mana when she talks in like the demon voice and she goes la 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 la? <laughs> I don't know. Me and my friend Ryan. No, I have not. Me and my no. friend Ryan in the Man. chat always talk about that. So they just came in and said la 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 la. I got. <laughs> I, that would be a good one to stream. I really want to play Dragon Ball 3. Oh my god, it's a mess. Is it? Oh. She's a you know, mess. Anytime someone says the game's a mess, I, I want to play. <laughs> uh, empty cages are stacked up. Were animals being kept here? Or children. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, slight spoil. I also heard that, um... Go ahead. Go ahead. I just heard that in Dragon Guard 3, one of the reasons why I want to play is that in Dragon Guard 3, I heard the main character was a sex worker or something like that. Yeah. And so that was any representation. I'm, you know, I'm always looking for the crumbs. That's fair. My, my username. I do like, I do like Zero. They don't really touch on that part of her backstory that much in the game, as I think, mm. as far as I know. But entrance this way. Do I have to go? Oh, okay. That weird moment when you hear your old name. Oh no! Did you ever play the Tower series? Ah, uh, yeah, that game. Th those games kind of freak me out a little too much because you can't fight back. They're... Yeah, my uh, my mom would always play those. Your mom? Constantly, and I would beg her and cry. Yeah, she's the one who played all these. That's why I like survival horror because I was traumatized oh. by it as a child. <laughs> I would beg her not to play, and she'd like boot up Resident Evil <laughs> Two, and I. Clock Tower was by far the worst, though. Yeah, no, it's it's because you can't, you can't, you have to, like, you can't fight back. It's like, there's something about that. Yeah. And, like, the chase music and the dun 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 dun. And he, yeah, and he's like, Sarah! Yeah. I think this is where I'm gonna go. Yes. The children it laughing. Very, it does give a lot of Alice in Wonderland vibes. Mm-hmm. Just like being led down a rabbit hole. Yeah. My friend Swaghex says, what a cool mom. 
Uh, yeah. Your mom. She's your mom cool. is cool. Thanks. She stopped playing video games after Turok because it gave her motion sickness. Aww. So, you no, know, it was very sad. She played Duke Nukem. That Aww. I couldn't watch her play. She'd tell me to get out of the room. <laughs> get out. <laughs> There's a creepy doll tied to the pillar. Oh. There's a creepy doll tied. Okay. Is there anything in here? Or a piece of paper. Pick it up. Pick it up. What? Pick it up. <laughs> Am I missing something? Mm, maybe there. What the hell? Come on. That's weird. Maybe I, I can't pick it up PS2 yet. Game. Maybe I can't I pick love it up. PS2 game. Hell yeah! Look at that aesthetic. It's a rubbish mm. bit tied tightly with rope. Here. Uh, I probably just have to go in another room or something. That's my guess. It does say to take the photo on the case before you leave. Oh, weird. It wouldn't let me. Let me try again. Oh. Oh, nah, you can just follow okay. me, I guess. <laughs> I always get this. Do this day. Uh. Yeah. Swagheg says, I always get this game confused with Haunting Ground. They're kind of similar. They are. They both have English girls yep. with hairs and buns. Yep. Except Haunting Ground seems a lot more problematic, and yet they didn't. Mm. They didn't. They didn't. Uh, they didn't ban that one, I think. Which is crazy. My friendly android says, the way they walk is hella creepy. Yep. What am I doing? Am I looking for something here? I, I think you go through the door to the left. Okay. To this day, I love walking around like Jennifer or Yuna from Tentu. <laughs> yes, Yuna. Like, this really weird, like Yuna from Tentu, she just like scatters her arms yeah, so she's easily. Like... <laughs> uh, Arctic Burrito says, somehow my parents let us play Duke Nukem Shareware. I think video games were just a blind spot wow. for them. Yeah, that was like my... <laughs> My parents would be like, oh, just go watch South Park because it's a cartoon. And I'm like. <laughs> Funny. Oh, we were never allowed. No South Park, no Austin Powers, nothing sexual, but all the violence. No Austin Powers. That's funny. Yeah. It made me watch Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I pooped my pants. Oh, that's scary. That yeah. Mexico. It was very scary. <laughs> the original one? Yeah. That that <laughs> one's really scary. Yeah, that's yeah. scary as hell. Yeah, this was when I was like eight and nine, you know. Oh, poor baby. They would make me turn around on the sexual parts, but <laughs> they would let me watch all the evisceration and stuff. <laughs> Classic America. Yeah. Oh. My dad actually told me, um, he was like, let's go watch Spider-Man 2 in the theaters. And we went, and then he said, two tickets to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. The new one with uh, Jessica Biel. Oh, my God! I started, I, <laughs> I started crying. Oh. Like, please. No, please. And I watched the whole thing. It was very scary. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. My parents treated, like, the ESRB age guidance religiously until I was, like, 15, same. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. The only time they ever cared was uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas because of the hot coffee incident. Oh, yep. And because um, they cussed too much. Yeah. That This game actually was the only video game my mom ever took away from me. This game? This game. That's weird. She she just like had a sixth sense that it was, it was too gay. Yeah. <laughs> He's not wrong. Up the stairs. Up the stairs? Okay. Yeah. This place is a labyrinth. It is. Joshua, come There's back! There's only like... Yeah. <laughs> I love the new Joshua meme. I guess it's from January, but... The little dog. Oh, yeah! Little baby dog. Ratings in movies also treat violence as much more appropriate for kids than sex stuff. Yep. 
Scalpel, dental forceps, gloves, and scissors. There's blood all over them. Sick. Part of me, like, critiques that, but another part of me is like, oh, see if you can pick that thing up. <laughs> okay. um, the other thing is, like, those movies, like, Happy Gilmore, um, there's a map right there on the table. Oh, there is? Yeah, it's glowing, but you can't. Oh, yep, I see. There it, it is. Wait, why can't no, I pick? Why can't I pick you, up shit? I think it's got a really sensitive. Oh, I have. That's why I couldn't. I, you can't be moving and press X I at the same it. time. I knew it. Um, Bluest Rose says I got in trouble for buying Red Faction Gorilla because the guy at Walmart thought it would make me a terrorist. Oh my god. Wow. That's like fucking. Thanks, guy at Walmart. Yeah, that's fucked up. <laughs> that is fucked up. <laughs> narc. I know. Part of me wants to be a narc working at GameStop and just snitch <laughs> on all, all the kids. That shit would be so fun. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, we See, made it. Are the coma. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Yeah, important context, I'm not white. Exactly, it's like, that's super fucking racist of, like, that Walmart employee. Oh, yeah, I didn't realize that. That is good context. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm playing. I was like, what? It's so dark. I know. Here, read me the rest of the story. I'll know you, you know, the book I handed to you. Do I have to, you have to use my item? In my item. Use. Uh, and the poor little girl was sent away to the strange house. The aristocrat club lived by the rule of Rose, but the girl found herself much, very much alone. That's it? Yeah. Bing bong. We will now begin the funeral. Oh yeah, this part. <laughs> I forgot about Good this. Fuck, man. All those attending, please Good gather attention. around this time. At this time. Gonna have to go get more water in a little bit. Yeah, this game's wild. <laughs> My friend Ryan just wrote in the chat, WHAT in all caps. <laughs> the funeral for Jennifer is about to begin. NBC funeral. <laughs> it's a funeral for your dear friend. Blue throws. Nice. Before she realized, the boy was gone. And the girl was left in confusion. Yeah, I have a David Lynch uh, uh, emoji. What do you do? Yeah. That's so cute. So now I just go downstairs okay. to the central courtyard and look at the tombstone, and then we'll be transported to some place with a lot more brightness. Yeah, I cannot there. see and Like, where am I? I need to get out of here. Yeah. Okay, there we go. I wonder what's up with that. Are you playing on a CRTV or something? No. Hmm. I can try to turn it. Let's see. I might be able to. Double click on it. This is the first time someone knew what my username was. Really? And I guess it is kind of like a uh, obscure Twin Peaks thing. Oh, is it? I thought I thought you knew what it was. Yeah, it's like it's like a that's what is it? I forget when when does Blue Rose get mentioned in Twin Peaks, Twin Peaks heads. Twin Peaks heads. All I know is blue, blue velvet. I mean, I know Twin Peaks also. Yeah. But, you know. Wow! 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 Oh. Have you ever played Deadly Premonition? Yes, yes, I have. Classic. If this dog is supposed to be brown, that is not a Labrador bark. 
Nah. It's the puppy bar. Yeah, that's like a baby dog. Yes, you did find him as a puppy. Oh, yeah, my Emil moat is live, too. When the girl went out Can in the I, yard. like, hella... What? Sorry, go ahead. No, are you... Can I hella spoil, spoil it now? Yeah, like... fuck it. So, I just think this is really pretty because this is her revisiting the trauma of um, when her best friend... Ooh, it's a really big spoiler, but fine. The whole the whole game is predicated on the fact that at the orphanage, due to jealousy of one of the girls who had a crush on her, she kills her dog. They beat it. She gets all the kids to beat it. And so this is like her going deep into that repressed trauma and remembering. Yeah, like none of this is real. Yeah. But, like, they barely even explain that in the game itself. Yeah, you have to, like, analyze everything at the end yeah. and walk through and examine everything. Yeah, it's, it's the weirdest story. Just look at you. You're filthy. <laughs> Being a kid sucks. Yeah. The imagery yeah. is really evocative of, like, when you're in those moments of remembering trauma and, you know, I don't know, I, I talk about this game with my therapist. Aww. <laughs> so. Like, the idea of being filthy and, like, wanting to be clean from it in of itself is like another prison for sure of that trauma when really jennifer has just been a victim the whole time yeah she survived so much bullying orphanage death ashes to ashes dust to dust Blues Rose says lame pyramid head cosplays from the funeral. That's funny. I have several lame pyramid head cosplays <laughs> myself. <laughs> you have you have good cosplays. Thank you. One time I I dressed up as pyramid head and I went karaoke and I sang um I think her name's Peggy Lee. Is that all there is? Oh it's yeah, yeah. Song. Yeah, I sang that. As which Pyramid is Head. Very hard to do. Yeah. That's great. It's very, very appropriate. Is that a biker bar, too? <laughs> Pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Iconic. I know. I love it. I'm so happy. Unlucky Cloverfield. All right, we got more light now. <laughs> Hopefully. One, one. Oh, okay. She's waking up. Yeah, I was expecting a big cutscene at the end of, of the game that explains everything. But instead, you just walk through a house in black and white and pick up different items. Yeah, and then it just, like, ends. Look at it. Yeah, I'm like, okay. I gotta struggle. When the girl awoke, she found herself in a strange room. 
PS2 FMVs still hit, I agree. It was a cold, lonely, stinky room. Do you have favorite console eras? Like, is there a specific console era you feel drawn to? I love GameCube. That's probably my fave. Mmm, interesting. How do you feel? That makes sense. I love GameCube so much. I loved Super Mario Sunshine. Oh mm. yeah, girl. And Star Fox Adventures. Oh my God, yeah. Classics. Bad girls need to be punished, don't they? Uh. No. Hell no. Fuck up. No. Hmm. Bad, bad girl who's not sorry. Hmm. No way. No. Anyway. I'll be the one giving the orders around here, okay? No. No! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Silly girl. You still don't understand. Well, you will before long. Silly girl! You know what I'm curious about? Hmm. In... This game was originally now, made I'm Japanese, yes? Your first order. I'm assuming. Really yeah. You need to find a gift. Is there an English accent in Japanese? I don't know. Maybe it's more like an aristocratic way of speaking or yeah. something. It's probably something like that. I'm really curious about those kinds of things. Yeah. Nuances. Hmm. Oh, well. Like, it really speaking of Drakengard 3, uh, in the English one, Zero swears, like, constantly. Yeah. But in the Japanese one... She doesn't really do that. She just switches from being very formal to extremely informal. Oh. Yeah, it's it's interesting. Well, dear Jennifer, nothing fair here. It was a localization. <laughs> yeah. You will Effort. follow my orders or else. <laughs> For I am the, the prince. I wish. It... The prince rules. <laughs> I wish I was good enough at any language to be a localized. Right, be on the localization team. That would be awesome. I don't think I've ever laughed like this in my life. Yeah, me neither. Maybe if you're an evil kid, you Yeah, would. you're right. Rusty ass scissors. I really like Ragnarok's video essay on this, but there's only so much FMVs in this game. Yeah. It's like an hour and a half long video essay, so it just keeps reusing the same yeah. <laughs> bit again and again. It's funny. The prince, wait, is this Katamari? Not quite, not quite. Yeah, take those scissors. Oh, they're out of reach, motherfucker. I got Where's your safe spot? The blackboard is badly smudged and unreadable. The girl examined the headless scarecrow. It pleaded, Last, please help me find my head. Once I am whole, I should return the favor. All right, we gotta find the bucket. Where's the bucket? Is this it? The girl looked at the rubbish bin. It spoke to her. My belly is as dark as night and as deep as the abyss. Anything in the world that is dropped will be collected inside of it. Okay. Uh, oh, this is where you store stuff. You've become, um, you've got such a good following so far streaming. Oh, thanks! I want to be able to do something like that. But I also only ever stream at midnight. I, that's, one of, is... one of my friends who lives on the West Coast, um, she only streams at, like, 3 a.m. And stays, oh, wow. stays up, like, all night. And she, and she actually, oh uh, like, makes a living off of Twitch. So anything is possible. Oh, that's awesome. Like, it's her main job, so... You can totally really? do whatever. Does it, she stream more like mainstream things or? She streams like Magic the Gathering and her name's oh, Glitch. Okay. Here, I'll link her stuff. She's a good friend of mine. Nice. Let's see, Glitch Bun. I, I was trying to do a shout out thing on Nightbot, but I can't figure it out. So, here, yeah, 
this is I always get like random Hawaiians or Brazilians being like, I love Fatal Frame. <laughs> and they'll still try to like tell me where to go. Funny. Yeah, I think a lot of her following is in like South America, actually. Yeah. Okay, pick up the bucket. Come on. Oh, I think you put the bucket. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It just does it automatically. Oh, yeah. Uh, Heroes, I, I made a thing for you, too. If you want to follow my dear friend Killed Off Queer, uh, here's the oh, link hello, to their me. channel. Yeah. Yay. You know what I refer to, and I know what you know. Oh, thanks, Arctic Burrito. Thanks for the follow. Oh, how cute. However, uh, you do not know at the moment, nor can you remember. So let us recall our memories together in order to remember our promise. So yeah, it's exactly what you're saying. It's like she's remembering her trauma. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, I might as well spoil the whole thing. I mean, yeah, it's fine. All the little girls got murdered by the weirdo who was living in the shack because uh, after they killed her dog, um, Jennifer slapped Wendy. And then Wendy was like, since Jennifer won't be my best friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, um, I'm gonna go tell that man to shoot everyone. And she did, and the man shot everyone because he was unwell. Yeah, because he thought Jennifer was his son or something, right? Yeah. Yeah, some weird shit like that. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's pretty tragic. Also just interesting because, like, I feel like a lot of it has to do with her survivor's guilt of, like, standing up to her abuser and it hurting other people around her. Right. And just, like, how hard it is to stand up to abusers already. You yeah. know, like... All right, one sec. I'm going to go grab some water really quick if you want to as well. Just give me Ew. one, give me one sec. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's take like a okay. five minute break. One sec.
even have. Oh, Heather's here. I. There she is. It's like three hundred dollars. Oh my god! Crazy. Right, this shit. Yeah. This shit is. I don't even know how much it's going for these days. Oh, I should look it up. Um, do you know that one? Um, what's it called? That one from software horror game Kuon. No, I've heard of it though. Yes, it's like the grudgy. Yeah. Kind of like, was it Siren? Is it Siren? Siren's a different one, but there's another one called Kuon. Okay. And it's like, uh -huh. I bought, same thing as you, I bought it for like seven bucks, like back in the day. And then Dark Souls blew oh. up and it's worth like three grand now. Are you serious? It's so oh ridiculous. I'm like, what are you guys doing? Yeah. Oh my God, I've never seen this. I should stream, we, we should stream that one night. That'd be fun. That would be awesome. Yeah. I mean, I'm about to fucking get it myself. Yeah, get, get the you know ROM I mean? for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's like the now suddenly it's like the crown jewel in my collection because it's Amazing. like it blew up. It's so weird. Anyway, back to rule up rose. Yeah, because we streaming now. Yeah. Um, Great. Because rule of rose used to be like my most expensive game in my collection, but then Kuon just believe. Uh, blew it out wow. of the fucking water. Did I? Do I have a map now? Let's see. File? Is it? Where would I find it? Puan eBay? Yeah, eBay. Alright, no, this is not what I want. I'm so jelly. Ew, I'm so jelly. It's it's like oh. it's like my fucking nest egg at this point. <laughs> you could cash that in. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is my kid's that, college that, fund. It's literally a stimulus package. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Uh, let's see, rule of rose. I think Rule of Rose is like 300 or something now. Oh no. It's what? How much is it? Okay, one person has a factory sealed Rule of Rose. $16,999. <laughs> like, that's ridiculous. Vomits. The other ones are like uh, 700. Okay, so. You know, I literally only have the disc. Oh my god. I got, look, I, I, like, you can see on mine, it has, like, a little mark on the corner here. But other than that, it's in pretty good condition. Like, I, I have the, I have the, you know, the, the thing and everything. Yeah. If I just take a little bit of goo gone on this corner, I feel like I could sell Damn. it for a decent amount. So. Damn. Yeah. Do you know, um, who's the guy... Uh, Tim Rogers. Yeah. Yeah, he had so many and he sold them all. Oh, wow. Like, to Japan. He had, like, so... Because, you know, he's a freak. He, like, collects all those yeah. random ones. I do love him. I love him, too. You guys pay, like, 11000 a month. Oh, wow. For his for his, Patreon. Yeah, his Patreon. His Toki... Did you watch the Tokimeki Memorial video? Yes. Me and Jesse... Jesse forced me to watch it. Uh... It was, like, what, six hours long or something? Uh, yeah. I'm just wandering around right now. I don't really know where I'm going. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> I gotta get and like. Now I get to. It's the butterfly part, right? Yeah. Which I think if you go upstairs, or did you go look at the? Um... Yeah, I think this is where you go okay. and you look at where they they're asking for a gift. Refined class, Duchess Diana, Countess Eleanor, Baroness Meg, Lower class, Amanda, Beggar, Jennifer. Or Amanda. Yeah. See, like the class, the class, the socio political commentary is there. Yeah. Sometimes I'm astounded at like games back then because they're so rich and and profound in their imagery and um, somewhat commentary. They mean sometimes they just like piece it together because it makes it a pretty picture. Right. But, you know, as an audience, I like take that shit and run. Yeah, for sure. No, I do the same thing. 
I was also thinking about like what draws me to horror so much other than my mom traumatizing me with it. <laughs> but um, there's two different things. The, the first thing which is more applicable to this game is that with horror, with certain types of horror, not all, but with horror games and horror in general, they allow people to explore the scarier, unpretty parts of ourselves. Yeah. You know, that's why so much of it is like about trauma. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, sometimes, depending, ends up being about healing. Like Silent Hill 3. Yeah. That one is... I hate making everything about trauma. It's like very tender queer stereotype, but... Um, but like with horror games, I feel like that is super relevant. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm probably not going to project trauma onto Ape Escape, but... <laughs> Unless. <laughs> That's the other one I tried streaming. I love Ape Escape. Janky as hell. So good. Those those monkeys make me laugh so fucking much. <laughs> in my bed. There was one sitting on a fountain, and his name was Bidet. Aww. And he was like, he was like riding a huge geyser up That's his so ass. That's so cute. It was really silly. <laughs> Looking through the window, the unlucky girl saw that she was above the clouds. The airship slowly swam through the sky, carrying the helpless girl inside. Uh, my friend Swaghag says, I think the exploration of trauma is what, what makes horror so interesting. Yeah, I agree. No. Like, I, I guess, like, drama sometimes we'll explore trauma or like stuff like that but like there's not that many other genres that do that and i feel like with drama there's something with horror having the filtration of like uh personified fear that helps you explore it in ways that may be less on the nose which may lead you to more like accurate or more interesting conclusions about you know different kinds of traumatic events right the strange girl has found a strange door or the girl has found a strange door but what is behind it you know i probably would love to do like a deep dive on between this and silent hill 3 silent, silent hill 3 similar. is like um the horrors of having a uterus yeah <laughs> Get the shit out of me. Get the shit out of me. Oh, fuck, get rid of it! <laughs> with, with their constant pain, like just like <laughs> crippling pain to the floor. My favorite my favorite thing of Silent Hill 3 is the meme. It's bread. It's bread. It's bread. Is that a meme? I should look Oh up. my god. It's 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 just like Oh is oh the cooked dog. The cooked dog. <laughs> the cooked dog, but then like there's one shop that Heather goes into where it's just she's just oh, it's bread. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's bread. Yeah. Nice. Check the box. I remember that. A strange box is attached to the door. Things can be placed inside of it. Read the poster. This month gift. One beautiful butterfly, one per person. Okay, I don't have anything, so I think the butterfly I think I saw the butterfly. It's downstairs. Also, if uh, your viewers don't stream, I just want to point out how fucking hard it is to stream and play these janky survival horror games because it takes a lot of concentration. And if you stop paying attention for one second, you'll get lost. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. If you Very don't, hard if you don't know where you're really. going, it's like. Yeah. I think I could do Silent Hill two pretty well because I know that one. Yeah. But yeah, this one. I don't even know. I didn't even get this far in this. Like, I got decently far in this game, but it's just. You just wander around so much. Yeah, and then, God forbid, you fight a boss. Uh... Those bosses are so fucking hard. I, I can't wait for the actual climax of this intro. We're almost there, I think. Um, oh my God. Let me know if you want me to help you. I still got it. Okay. Pulled up. Sick bay. Yeah, where am I supposed to go? I think I have to go get the butterfly um, again, but I don't... So, you'll see the girls will drop something. Wait, wait. Reach the Aristocrat Society. 
Oh, did you get the dead green butterfly yet? Not yet. Okay, then. The unlucky yeah. girl met Clara, the frightened princess. The princess looked down, and she spoke to the girl with a feeble voice. How dirty. How dirty. Oh, it says that, um, go back down to Sector 8. Okay. And follow the little girl, which is the way you came. <laughs> go back to where you came. The unlucky girl met Hoffman, the strict teacher. When Hoffman caught Jennifer looking at him, he snapped at her. Dirty wretch. <laughs> Why are you always shirking your duties? Dirty wretch. Yeah, especially talking to somebody. Who is GOGT200? Uh, that's, yeah, that's my friend Sophia. Yeah. Damn right, Sophia. I don't doubt it. There are, is much multitasking involved with streaming. It's extremely difficult to pay attention to everything. Yeah, it's definitely a learning curve. I think. I had like 15, um, 15 millibytes per second and I was streaming. Um, so there was huge lag. Oh no. And some, somebody from Brazil was trying to coach me through um, Fatal Frame 2. Oh. But every time he would tell me something, it would be like, 30 seconds too late, so oh. it was just me running in circles. No. Trying to... <laughs> it was very bad. Oh. Okay, I think I gotta go back down here. I think my favorite thing about the Fatal Frame series is the combat and how like every enemy actually has its own storyline. Right. And, and the, the way they fight is actually evocative of like how they died or what their yeah is. I think that was really engaging. Also, I always want to play the Wii U one. Oh man, that one sucks. Does it? Ugh. I only played the demo, and I just love sitting in a rotating chair and using the Wii. It's so. You know what I mean? For, like take pictures. It's just so horny. Oh, that is that is the line, the fine line. That sucks. Like the other ones have like some stuff where you're like, you know, maybe these titties are a little like over physicsed or whatever but yeah. five is yeah. like it really feels like the dead or alive devs made that game and you're like Whoa. yeah it's a little mm. that's actually why i couldn't get into um haunting ground yeah it's like why is this so horny yeah like i don't mind a little bit of anime horny like obviously i love near automata but yeah. I don't know. There's there's certain things where I'm just like, uh. where's the butterfly? I thought. Did you pick it up on the floor? She dropped it. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, there's a very interesting. The, the to find sincere horniness versus like a kind of gross horniness. Yeah. To draw the line, like Bayonetta, fucking love that shit. I remember the creator of Bayonetta got mad at um, Bayonetta porn <laughs> because he got mad at the at like the positions that Bayonetta was being drawn in. She's like, no, she's a dominatrix. She would never. She would be never. Doing this thing. Yeah. Wait, did I? Am I losing it? I think it? you picked it up. I don't think I did. Oh. Where is it? Um. I saw the cutscene. Me too. Um. Is that in the other Maybe room? Maybe it's in there. No, keep going further. Wait, that's stairs. Maybe it's um, this way? I think it might be on the floor around here. It's truly that darkness, man. I'm sorry you're dealing with that. It's okay. I picked the darkest skin. Oh, follow the passage. Go to, oh, wait, here we go. The way you came. You found it? I found something. Oh, uh, yeah. Or you'll see that boy close the door, enter there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, like this game without a guide, not not an easy feat. Yeah. Like other games you can kind of like infer like what you're supposed to do next, but this game is not really that. Oh my god, the dog, no. <laughs> very sad. Aww. Very, very sad. Right, how do I get over there? Oh, oh, the trauma. The trauma. 
How do I get over there? Um, I think you open a door, but you still need to get the scissors down to cut him down. Oh, so. no! So he's gonna... That's when my friend started getting mad when I was screaming. He was like, something bad better not happen to that dog. And I was like, okay. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I can't even get in here. You can't. There's a door somewhere, but, you know. Oh, there you go. I don't go. think you need to get in there. Yeah, it's there we horrible are. doggy. This is horrible! I know, I know. Okay. Yeah, and then there's a parallels between a helpless dog being abused and the children. Right. And the abuse that they dealt with. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. I think you're doing it. I think that's... I have a... Oh, wait. You might have... I'm in the chicken room. Chicken time. Who are you? Hello. The only lucky girl met the princess as cold as ice. In the acrid room, the princess shot an icy glare and said... Yes, yeah, she is a pain. Like her a lot. She's so mysterious. Um, it says you're supposed to go to. Where are we? Sector nine turbine area. Yeah. Now go to sector ten. Okay. Crew cabin hall. Okay. So it says ten. And then you go upstairs. I think that says ten. Yeah. And then you go upstairs. Okay. I wish I could have this with me. I wish I had an audio walkthrough the whole time. Yeah, for real. <laughs> it would make things so much easier. Okay. Uh, what's this? Upstairs. I just went, it was like, what is this? Okay. Upstairs. Take the left to third passenger corridor and then go upstairs. Okay, so, yeah. I think you're going the right way. Okay. I don't remember this fucking game at all. I think this is... Oh, wait, no, that's 11. No, go back. Go back. Oh, wait, third passenger. Oh, no, you're right. Okay, okay. You're good. The other thing I liked about part three of Silent Hill. Oh. Hey, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Wait, why am I in the men's lavatory? Oh. Oh, hey. Unlucky girl met Xavier, the gluttonous prince, and the prince chewed with his mouth full. He spoke to her. Did you hear the news? Did you hear the news? Witches must love to clean. They always carry brooms, right? The witch over there has only got rags, though. Well, you should clean up like they do, or else spooky things will come and do it. Some of the kids' voice acting is hilarious. Yeah. It's like a grown ass man. Did you hear the news? <laughs> I also would love it if my claim to fame was like voice acting one of these janky ass games. <laughs> I would love that. Goals. Even if it's just like that, I know. Okay. Uh... I think you go up the stairs. Okay. Hello. The queen of cleaning. The queen glared at Jennifer as she were filthier than dirt itself. Filthy wretch. Filthy wretch. All right. I wonder what the voice actors are doing now. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably still voice acting. Hello? The unlucky girl met Olivia, the tearful princess. The princess cried on. The girl gathered the courage and spoke to her. The tearful princess just cried on and on.
Jennifer found copper leaf. But you should also find a better fight. It's shaped like a leaf. Could it be part of something else? Yeah. Check the green butterfly, it says. Okay. So there should be a green butterfly that she's looking at or near. The green butterfly is on the ground. Take the butterfly? Yes. Now! You deserve to be gobbled up. You deserve to be gobbled up. And take both of those. And all the way back to the rest of society. All right, I better equip this because this is my weapon. I do love that you get to dick children with forks in this game. <laughs> uh. Uh, equip. How do I stab? Triangle? Circle? Uh, maybe you can only do that in combat. I think it's, it's, I think it's R2 and X. Oh yeah. Oh god! Hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Look at her. Yeah. Uh-huh. She's got it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Good sport. Alright. Let's just go back. I don't want to get lost. If this was I'm any, so sorry, Kat. nah, you're good. If there was, if this was any other survival horror game, I feel like I'm very meticulous and check like every single room. But it's not that kind of game. Yeah. yeah. Like, if you have a lot of time, you can do that. But it's honestly not worth it. Yeah, and most of the rooms will be locked. Yeah. And they're harder to check than like Silent Hill, where it just goes. Yeah. You know what I mean. The voice actors for Janitor voice Siri in The Witcher. Oh, really? Oh. Get out. Are you serious? That's cool. That's amazing. Thank you for this lovely... Wow. I wonder if, like, they're like, yeah, I voiced Siri, but, you know, my real crowning achievement <laughs> with Jennifer. Just love little. Jennifer. Well, that's what, um... <laughs> What's her fit? The the voice act Laura Bailey. She does like a bunch of stuff, and she did. Oh my! God. She did Kine in the first near, and she was like, "Yeah, mm -hmm. people to this day just keep coming up to me about Kine because Kine just like swears and says all this like that crazy is shit." So funny. That's so funny because what I know her most as is Tor Toru Honda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's like the sweetest? Like, and then now she's Kaine, and now yeah. she's also um, Abby from The Last of Us. Yeah. I do love that <clears throat> versatility. Yeah. She gathered her courage to speak to the princess, and the princess cursed. She's such a pain. She's such a pain. I just want to give a hug to all the villains because. I know what they all went through, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. Except for maybe Wendy. Yeah. She's probably the one who, like, needs the forgiveness. The, the least. Like, that's why the game is so hard. Well, the least and also, like... The most. Maybe the most. Yeah. Yeah. Deserves it the least, but maybe that make, means that she needs it the most. For sure. Okay. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like retracing uh -huh. my steps, basically. Yep. Oops, I don't think that was the right way. I'm really sad that with the HD remake of Silent Hill 3, they changed the voice acting. You can't pick the old voice acting. You can't? No, you have to play oh, yeah, the original. You know why? Because they fucking lost it. <gasps> yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> I, I can't believe that. It's so, it's so tragic. This is highlighting such tragedy right yeah. now. Oh my god. I'm so upset. That's so. It breaks my heart. Yeah, it's not great. They can't just rip it from the ROM or whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know how. I don't know how. Yeah, works, I'm hoping I'm one day it'll get another HD remaster and they'll fix it or something. But yeah, 
act. I loved Heather's voice acting. Yeah, Heather Heather was great. Where am I going? That's like... also a story of like escaping trauma, it's even in the game mechanics of um, the last boss. Yeah. Because if you choose violence against Claudia, you die. But if you use the jewelry that had the aglophotis that is the um that your dad gave you it's kind of like i always thought it was genius because it's like remembering um it's like remembering instead of like choosing hate for as a response to loss you remember the love that your dad gave you right and that's how you reject the god of hate and throw it up yeah that's that's really nice i never thought about that yeah uh, yeah, I, I thought about it too much, I guess. No. Um, I guess I can't get it I don't think you, get, yeah. you can't get it yet. No, you just have to go to the aristocrats. Okay. Jennifer, you can, just put, you can just put the, the rubbish bin on the floor and stand on it. I know. Oh. Jennifer. All right. Um, I think I'm going the right way. I do hear crying. Oh no, we're oh, oh yeah. here we go. This could be where we end the run. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. <laughs> Battle. Battle. Poke his eyes out. Alright. Hold down the R1 button and ready for combat. Press the X button to attack. Okay. Getting hit or grabbed by your enemies will deplete your health. To shake them off quickly, move the left left analog stick. Okay. If you keep taking damage, you'll slow down and eventually collapse, and the game will end. <laughs> so remember thank you. <laughs> to replenish your health using recovery items. Okay, thanks. I played a video game before. Watch out, motherfucker. Oh my god, are you kidding? That was like right away. Stab, stab him, stab his ass, stab his ass. He's so short. Oh my he god, how the- Right up close. Watch out, oh my he's gonna jump, he's gonna jump. Okay, so you gotta like get up close to them and then there we go. Yeah, stab his ass. There we go. Uh-huh. Is he oh, dead? Yeah. yeah, you just killed a child. Great. <laughs> <laughs> With the fork. Jen says, Oh my god, this is terrifying. Yeah, it's it's a little bit freaky. And also maybe save it if you ever want to stream it again. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I should to. save. I should go back and save right now. Yeah, because the shit is jank. Yeah. Wait, is this where I came from? I'm so confused. Uh... Um, no, I think you went forward to the right. I think is where you came from. To the right. From here. Like up those. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then you keep going, and then make a right. I guess I actually have memorized this. Yeah, make a right. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, you, you do have it memorized. <laughs> it's impressive. That's it's... one of the things I like about horror games is the labyrinthine quality and how, like, it eventually... Part of it is just memorizing. Yeah. You know. Save. I think this is maybe the farthest I've ever gotten in this game. Congratulations. Woo! It's it's just really hard and it's a slog without someone doing exactly what you're doing right now. Yes. <laughs> Don't I know it. I played it on a CRTV in the front room of my old house. Aww. Sitting on the ottoman. Very cute. Okay. We saved. We're doing good. There is like one climactic cutscene that might be good to end on. I yeah, let's do that. The, I think so. Because I'm, I'm also excited to play Anatomy, which I've never seen. Before. Yeah, let's skip. But I, I, let's skip the yeah. butterfly and then we'll switch to Anatomy. Yeah. Okay. How do I get? Is it, is it here? I think so. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. No, I think it's actually where you were. Oh, okay. Um, and then unless this is where you came from. This is this this is towards I'm, the same point. All the way. All the way straight though okay. instead of turning right. Is that Isn't that, that where I came right? is that where I came from? It might be. I don't know, that's part of where my body's telling me to go. I I I, I trust you. 
There's no map. I did get a map. Hmm. Let me check. Can I look at the map now? Okay. Oof. Mm. I can't even read it. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Oh, I think I see where you're at. Yeah, I'm, then... I'm this dot. I'm this vaguely red dot somewhere. Yeah, I, th I think you're going the right direction. You just keep going all the way straight. Okay, yeah, I gotta get to the- yeah. I gotta get to the staircase. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah. What a fucking oh. map, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, I yeah, think I'm going the... back? I'm, I'm, like, thinking too much about the sections, I think. You might rage quit, and that's fine. That's fine. I actually expected to rage quit. <laughs> um, congratulations, you made it this far. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with, with the looping music in the background. <laughs> that is beautiful, but it's also But it's looping. also, like, maddening, yeah. Yeah, it's like maybe a, a 30 second loop. Okay, found the stairs. I think we're getting is this somewhere. Where the aristocrats were? I think we're getting somewhere. Uh, I don't think we are. Oh, we're not? Oh, no. I don't think we are. <laughs> I think you done wrong. No! Yeah, yeah. No! I'm super far away. Yeah, feel free to move quick. All right. We're good. <laughs> Do you have to, like, stop the stream and change no, it over no. to a different game? Yeah, I can just oh. go like this. Um, close window. Two. And then, let me just switch over my monitors really quick. Da, da, da. Can they still hear my voice? Yeah. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, perfect. Well, then... While you do that, I'll say I'm really interested in this next game because I think it's going to touch upon the my other favorite part of horror, which is I feel like one of the biggest parts of horror is architecture. Like, whether it's, like, the Louisiana Baker Mansion, the house that's, like, all impoverished and run down, or Resident Evil 1's beautiful Spencer estate, I feel like, or like, you know, Rosemary's Baby. Like, yeah. In horror, there's always a huge emphasis on, like, architecture for some reason. And, and empty architecture. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of, like, The House of Leaves. I'm not sure if anyone's right. ever read that. I, but, like, should, I should read that. It's it's, it's on, a good one. It's on my I list. It, it's, like a, it's like a modern classic, basically, you know. Oh, my captions are getting all, yeah. all messed up. Hold on a second. I had to change the display back, so everything's getting all weird. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let us open anatomy. There is something so intriguing about, like, um, like architecture being so much effort being spent on it to create this, like, either beautiful thing or, you know, something that will house people and it being uninhabited mm -hmm. like it's almost like this this hollowness that's like a, a mirror to our own selves right is how i always interpret that whether it's opulent or not right i feel like you can do like a portrait of someone from just like visual or like environmental storytelling that would be beautiful yeah um, mm -hmm. like gone home yeah exactly Right. Which also has strong um, horror vibes, but ends up just being a sweet gay story. Sweet gays. Oh, anatomy is yeah. taking up a lot of my RAM right now. Okay. That's interesting. Seems less like that. Man, I had chemistry homework to do, and now I just want to like start playing every horror. <laughs> But there were more kids to stab, Bill says. It's true. There was more kids. There were more kids to stab. Oh, that's so funny. It's true that at, like, the next scene um, after that is just you find the actual butterfly, but then a shit ton of those little imp kids come, and they're very scary, and you, you do not want to 
face any of them because they're just piling up everywhere and you just have to run and it's very yeah scary. it's a and lot the music like ramps up it's really lovely lovely scene right. nice what am i doing that's... One of my favorite podcasts. Um, I manage their Discord, and one of their one of their favorite games that they did a spoiler cast was Gone Home. Uh, Sophia. Yeah, that's Sophia. Yeah, and um, yeah, Gone Home was so interesting. There's aspects of Gone Home that I never picked up on. Like there is some aspects around abuse um, of the dad that was like a B plot that I never realized. Huh, me either. Um, but it definitely, yeah, it's like pretty intense. And then you realize like the dad was dealing with that the whole time. And like the house that you inherited was the house of his abuser. Oh um, God, I didn't know that. Pretty, yeah, there's, but that's just like in the back, like only if you like, you know, really read into all the objects, right. would you get that? So I really love that. Uh, shout out Triple Click Discord. Shout out Triple Click. It's a lovely podcast. Triple Click. They um yeah, they used to do Kotaku split screen. They split off and uh, made a listener own podcast. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, let me just change the game that we're playing. And you're right, Sophia. That is um. That is one of the things that it very much felt like a play on survival horror. And also, okay, so my name is killed off clear because I'm so used to like, um, you know, the killed off queers, like they get written, a character gets written as queer in a show, in a serial show for sweeps. And then after, for attention, you know, for, for sweeps week. And then after they've played their attention grabbingness, they kill them off. Yep. And for me, that's kind of like a Christ-like figure, you know, like... Yeah, no, I... It's really fucked I, up. I agree. Yeah. It's really fucked up, but those were the images I had to grow up with. And so part of me calling myself killed off queer is paying homage to that. But one thing that Maddie, she's a queer woman, um, who's part of the show, pointed out in Gone Home is that she was readily expecting... Spoilers for Gone Home, everybody. She was rarely expecting unlocking the attic and finding a dead, like a dead queer person. Right. You know, like the, totally what she was expecting. But instead, it ended up being like this really beautiful, moving story, coming of age story. And it's very, very sweet. Oh, thanks, Sophia. Um, yeah, I'm getting almost teary eyed because, uh, yeah, it was a surprising story and it ended up just being so sweet. That voice actor fantastic who played i think her name's kate yeah it's a good good game and incredibly influential because now you see things like the last of us too completely like taking from the formula of gone home and everyone says like a lot of people would prefer the last of us too if it was just like gone home without any of the combat because of the Anyways, am I detracting? No, no, no. I, I was testing something, and then I realized that I needed to start it over. So, ah! Okay, well, let me know if you need me to be quiet. No, 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 you're good. Talk about this forever. Uh, let's see. Where's me? There's me. Okay. What am I doing? Oh, I see. Okay. I get it. I get it. All right, let me relaunch Anatomy. I was just testing it. I had to stop myself from saying the buzzword. The buzzword? What's the, the buzzword? Ludo narrative dissonance. Ah, yes. Mm, that's when you have the Pee Wee Herman scream whenever we say scream. <laughs> because that's the thing with, with um, Last of Us 2. I'm not sure if you played it, if you're a fan. Um, I played it. I was loving it until I beat it. And then I was just like, I absolutely hate this. I hate everything about it. Right. So upsetting. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was very, very upsetting. It's partially because of that Ludo narrative of distance. It's supposed to be like this commentary on like universal hate and what it drives people to do. But it's from a very like Hobbesian, straight white man point of view. Right. You know what I mean? A very conservative point of view that I just like, I find so 
exhausting, especially since we were playing it during an actual pandemic and we saw a lot more solidarity across, and you know, all the different cultures. I saw personally. Yeah. I don't know if people have their own views, but in my insular bubble, it was a lot more hopeful than what they paint The Last of Us 2 out to be. I actually did a, a one of my finals for my gay class. It's like gay art. I did it on, we had to curate a video game museum and it was supposed to be about, or sorry, we had to curate a art museum, art exhibit about queerness. And I did it all on video games. Um, yeah. And my thing was like, I had in the center of the entire exhibit was the last of us two and showing ways in which Ali gets turned into a villainous, murderous lesbian. Right. Juxtaposed to like the actual romance. And then um, as you, it's like, it's kind of like a solar system, the way the museum was set up. So you have that in the middle and the more you go outwards, the less popular the game is, but the more accurate of a portrayal of queerness it is. Right. So then outside of that with like Bioware queerness and then, Outside of that was stuff like um, If Found. Yeah. That's a beautiful game. Uh, Celeste, you know, games by queer people, trans people. Mm-hmm. This... Anyway. Sorry, I'm like, what? What's going on? I don't, I yeah, couldn't. Feel free to just ignore me. No, 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 no. I was like, I was like, um, I was going to share my screen with you so you could hear the audio, but it won't let me do it with this game for some reason, so... Gen oh yeah, I can't even see it. I can here. Let me look on your um, Twitch. Yeah, Jen Suda says if found yeah. was really good. I I need to play through that again. I sobbed so hard. Okay, so I think this game is mostly listening to tapes. So I'll let you know when I'm playing a tape. All right, I'm gonna play the tape now. Interesting. Okay. So, um, I'm just watching on your closed caption, which is nice. Here, let me... One sec. Can I pause this? I don't think I can, so unfortunately this game I can't pause and I can't really like fiddle with. That's fine. Um, I should, I should parse the captions through a different sound source so it records what's on the screen, but I can't do it right now. So apologies. No worries. Well, just let me know if I'm. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you know if there's like there's spoken dialogue, but there's not right now. So, the the yeah. first the first tape was talking about how humans about architecture and humans and how the house is an interesting human creation. It said. Oh, Sophia says they're not hearing any game audio either. All right, let me try one sec. One sec. But that is that is essentially what I was talking about, right? About anatomy. Um, architecture and how that works all right let me try relaunching one more time but i'm gonna do it in windowed mode so i can actually do stuff it like crashes my stream every time i fucking launch it not crashes it is but a pretty indie game okay yeah let's try. but um sophia it's it found i loved i like was a crumpled mess on my floor when I finished it, like sobbing, never seen such representation um, to me in in a video game before. Right. It's... All right, here, let me see. I've never seen a non-binary character in a video game, let alone, yeah. There's one in Nosia. Have you heard of Nosia? I think, right? Right, Jen, are you, are you in the chat? There's a non-binary person in Nosia too, right? Um, one sec, let me check. I'm gonna change my captioner so it will parse the audio through 
the game. Oh, I want to play that game so bad. Yeah, I feel like you would like that game. Yeah. Yeah, Nosia has cool. two. Nosia has two non-binary characters. Interesting. I mean, they are, there's also, I think there's only been one game in my life I've ever played that had an intersex character, and that was Nier. Yeah, I was going to say kind of. Yeah, it was amazing. God, I want to cosplay as her, too. Oh, my God, yes. Uh, sorry, one sec. I'm trying to, how do I change my mic in Chrome? I've looked this up a fucking million times. Change my mic in Chrome. You can't, so I use this captioning website and you can't like change the audio source on the website. You have to like go through Chrome. Um, okay. Right. Privacy, security. Da, da, da. Uh, I would love to see anatomy, but if you need to stream something else, it's totally fine. Oh no, it's, I, I, I got it. I'm just, I'm just doing some setup stuff. So, and cool. NP, okay. NP. Contents. I can distract the chat. Yeah, distract the chat. Just mute me while I pontificate. All right, let's. What the fuck? Privacy security. It's funny. I I used if found on my final without actually playing it, and then you know I read all these articles about what it was doing, and then I actually played it, and yeah, that was fantastic. Um, very unconventional in so many ways. Yeah. Um, like even in even in queer storytelling, it was unconventional. Like I thought for sure there was going to be spoilers for if found um, that they were good. It was going to be a romance story. I thought maybe it was going to be some kind of romance, but it didn't. It was it was just a story of identity and and navigating um, like the difficulty it comes with. That comes with like transitioning and 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 my favorite thing was that oh, I don't know if I want to spoil it, but like basically it had a very non non binary approach to like family. Like this idea of like writing them off if they don't accept you or, you know, forcing yourself to conform to their ideals like that in of itself is like a binary. Right. And um, no, I have not played We Know the Devil. I'm Googling it now. Oh, uh, you would love that game. That's, I, I know the dev who did it. It's great. Really? Yeah. Stop. Oh my God. Uh, Jen says, I've been meaning to make a list of games with NB characters. You should. I bet you, you'd be really good at making that list uh, well i wanted to parse the game through the captioner but it's given me some problems so S sorry folks looks like i'm gonna just give up we know the devil we know the devil have you heard of Butterfly Soup? Oh yeah, that's that's why my friend Jen in the chat, that's like how we became friends because they had like really? a, a Butterfly Soup pin and I was like, I love that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm trying to, I should finish it. Um, I just got to like the most hilarious scene and then I stopped playing. Butterfly Soup is uh, so funny. So I met, I got to the scene, is her name like Ashkara? Is yeah. When she meets um, your childhood friend and the period stuff, I was screaming. I was just like, what in the hell is happening? That shit cracked me up so much. And I was scream laughing in the middle of the <laughs> night. So that's why I just stopped playing it because I need to play it when I can laugh out loud. Oh my god, anatomy, come on, buddy. Alright, we're gonna get this game to work, damn it. Uh Okay. Here's my last attempt. Wow. It was released in twenty fifteen. We know the devil. Yeah. That's crazy. I thought trans people were invented in um 
2019. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does anyone well, watch Thought Slime slash Scaredy Cats? Same host. The main channel is leftist video essays with a queer perspective. Second is geeking out about horror. Their Twitch is retro games. I've watched some Thought Slime. I feel wow. like I feel like. The thing is, when I'm looking up, like, leftist YouTube people, it's, like, there's so much, like, infighting and, like, uh -huh. this person sucks versus this person sucks. And it, I don't know. It's just, like, I can't, I don't watch a lot of, like, leftist political stuff because it always feels like I'm just waiting for the other shoe to drop of this person being, like, a secret Nazi. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, like, really paranoid now. Not, um... Bilbo. But is that the person you told me about? Me? Is that the person you told me? I no. Um, oh. Arctic Burrito. I know in person. Let's see. I might look that up. Thought Slime. He's pretty Phil good. Phil watches lots of... Phil, Phil watches lots of... Um, video essays. And I, I like that. Yeah. Um, we, we, my, we, my favorite... I have a lot. I like I like watching video essays too. Um, mostly about like media crit. So I I really like like you were saying Ragnaroks. I've been watching a bunch of Neopets videos lately by Pet Simmer Julie. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Oh yeah, Philosophy Tube is classic. All right, I'm gonna play this tape again. Sorry, y'all. Okay. Um. Uh. Maybe check with the chat if the audio is going through. Oh yeah. Is it going through? Can you hear it? Is there music or something? It's just talking. You don't hear anything? What the fuck? Okay, well, mm -hmm. I think anatomy might be a bust, unfortunately, because something's not going on. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> but oh, wow. I am going to, I, I'm like, this is a selfish um, guest starring on Simulation Cats Twitch, because now I'm just mining the chat for like good recommendation. Let's see, Thought Slime, Scaredy Cat, Google like that. Um, here, let me, let's see, what's a good backup game? You could go just, I could just... randomly and... GameCube it up. Okay, so I could play more Fatal Frame 2. Uh, I do love that one. Here, I'll go grab I that. I can talk a lot about that. One sec. That. Here, you can hold it down while I go grab that. One sec. I have a... Yeah. Um, let me see. Where are you? With chat. I know. You know what, though? This was a, a great... Um, what's the word? Teaser trailer for Anatomy. Because all the hype without it working is going to get everyone to go download it right now. Which is great because I think um, the developer's trans. So that's super cool. I'm ready to play that. Do I have to go on itch for it? Uh, I, uh... Yep, popular tag, horror games. Yeah, it's. $3. I'll definitely buy that. The horror show. Oh, uh, this is totally my shit. Collect cassette tapes and study the physiology of domestic All culture. Right. That seems like a direct response to Gone Home. What? It found? I'm definitely buying it. No, Anatomy. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely buying it. So, I was just telling the chat that this was a good teaser trailer yeah <laughs> right, go buy it. all your subs go all right put rule of rose away all right let's hope this works the first time okay now i have to change all my shit <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Don't, don't feel bad. It's not your fault. This is the joys of live streaming, you know? Yeah, true. And I guess I didn't suggest anatomy. So. Yeah, no, it's it's totally fine. I thought, hey, don't bark. Stop barking. Ooh, pooch. Lucy. 
Be quiet. Yeah, it's okay. You don't have to get mad. Uh, I can't wait. I wonder if I probably won't be able to stream it. I when I stream, I mean my stream's so janky, I don't have like be right back shit. I don't I'm and like you can't even see my face. I, it's just so janky. I just I'm like, if you wanna watch me fumble around, you can. That's that's totally fine. Some people never stream with their face, you know? Yeah. I tried streaming Resident Evil Village last night. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Or, I was streaming the boss fight with Lady Lady D, Lady Dimitrescu. Yeah. Um, and it was just like so pretty that I just immediately stopped streaming and then retried it so I can see all the graphics without it being shrink right. on my screen. Lucy. It is funny how like everyone got obsessed with that character, and she's only in it for so long. Yeah, <laughs> she's like not in it that long. <laughs> yeah. But your Capcom was like, oops, okay. All right, let's see if I can get this to cooperate. All right, Tecmo. I still want to watch. Sorry, now I'm just like looking at um, Arctic Burrito's suggestion of um, Garrity Cats. <laughs> and there's a lot. Um, I like, this is, I like a lot of media ones, like, um, I'll send you a list after stream. I have, like, a long-ass list. Yeah. Oh, my God. Can y'all... Anybody who likes Wishmaster. Nice. I was gonna say, can y'all hear the, can y'all hear Fatal Frame? I just muted oh. it, so it might... One sec. All right, I'm gonna add it into the scene. It might be loud, so brace yourselves. And you might have to do something so I can see it yeah. on Discord, but if that's too much trouble, I got you. About me. I've played it. It all you know. Did you already beat it or no? Yeah, I beat on, it before. On stream. Great. on stream, though? No, not on stream. Okay. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to capture the 4K thing. Which is fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just recently beat it on um, on uh, stream myself. So I love how there's actual continu continuation continuity between part two and part three. Right. Okay. And part one, like they actually united it. Okay. Can y'all still hear? Can you still hear it? I think I might have just turned it off actually so that's fine okay uh add it's all good i don't I, I mean i could just watch it on your twitch stream i've seen it before played it before they're done that okay oops i love technology there we go I love Fatal Frame! Okay, there we go. There's that. The Ritual. Perfect. I will say, um... I don't hear it coming from your Twitch stream. Okay. Oh, now I hear it. Now I hear okay. it. Okay. The <laughs> biggest improvement I think of um, from two to part three is the main character's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me change my stream info again. Fatal frame two. Okay. Let's Alrighty. go. All right. I don't remember where. Yeah, I 
I think I was here. I'm pretty sure I was here. Also, I guess spoilers for Fatal Frame 2. Yeah, spoilers. The one thing I really loved about the ending, about the canon ending, is um, it's a downer, but I'm happy for her. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister is so annoying. I'm happy for her. Yeah. I just I was just so annoyed by the I know the sister was possessed or whatever, but I was just annoyed by her the whole time. It was a cool inversion to expectation. I don't remember what the fuck I was doing. And there is a key. Ceremony Masters Note five. Yai is not coming back. Did she really leave Sai behind? Did she survive the forest? If Sai is cleansed and acts as the Shrine Maiden alone, the X might be appeased. The records show no, not mention any rituals with a single Shrine Maiden, but I will do it. I will have to try. Yai, why did you run? Why won't you come back? But um, Oh, hey! Hi, but, um... It's Simon! Hello, Simon. You came just in time for Fatal Frame. Yay. All right. What am I doing? I don't remember what the fuck I was doing in this, so. Let's see. Well, I just beat it, so I feel like I could somehow remember, although. You got an old key. I got the shadow key. Yeah. I don't really... Does have you a map? can't use it on that. Oh, I'm in the rope temple. Classic. Here, let me do let me do the thing I always do. Just hire me for the <laughs> real thing to walk through. What am I doing? Where am I going? Yeah, nice to see I you. I think I think I think you backtrack now. Because you if you can't go forward you backtrack okay. and you'll try to use that key. Where am I going? It's so dark. Okay. I gotta head this way. I wanted to a um a curated art exhibit of all the um well, what's it called? A ASCII? A S C I I yeah. artwork that people do in those old um walkthroughs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. I'm like, they put so much effort in that. Your fatal frame sense is tingled? Oh man. Why the fuck? I can't see anything. It's so dark. I'm just like running into a. Okay, there's the door. Okay, okay yeah, I just did the thing where we opened the, the, the dual doors. Some of that creaky. What the doll? Uh, I I did the doll puzzle already. I'm in chapter four. Okay. Yeah, I'm right here. Getting Castlevania ASCII map flashbacks. Yo, yeah, that's the deep cut. Like yeah. all the stuff on Game Facts. What the fuck? I, I... Yeah. I love you, Game Facts. I always love you. Okay, here we go. I have the shadow key, so. I think I need to open something with that. Yeah, that would be a great art show. I agree. <laughs> We're like a room. Oh, here we are. You save. I'm looking for the butterfly key, I think. Do I have a flashlight? I think I lost my flashlight. There's something on the floor. Sacred water. I just went in a big circle. Right? Those were also impressive. Like, people spent so much time making those ASCII, like, art pieces. And also the actual walkthrough. Like, those walkthroughs were better than the strategy, strategy guides right. sometimes. There's one famous strategy guide that uh, that everyone gets shit that shit 
I guess shat on um, the Final Fantasy IX strategy guide because it was just <laughs> um, there'd be a paragraph and it says if you want to figure this out, go to this website. What they would the Prima strategy guide or whatever just sent you to a website for every single oh my God. Um, thing and the website was broken. That's so <laughs> fucked. Okay, yeah. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Oh wait, there's something here. What's that? Glowing red crystal. Let's listen to it. Spirit orb. Oh wait, nope. That's I forget the I hate when menus aren't start. It looks like you're going the right way. Okay. Uh memo? No. What? what? Oh, radio. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. Glowing red crystal. Let's go. The ritual has failed. Why did Yai run? Why did she not come back? See if I can remember. I think I gotta leave this place. There's like nothing left here. Oh my god, that piece of cloth just scared the fuck out of me. Dear lord. <laughs> the ritual has failed. Why did the Irish solid caption? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's not working. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I need to, I need to switch to a different captioner because this one's like very fiddly sometimes. I don't think I'm going the right way. I've checked. Oh my god, you scared me. I was like, oh. All right. Um. Where? What? Does it say where I need to go? Yes, yes. I was about to come tell you. So after, um, looks like you go to Kurosawa's master's room through the cloth hallway. Okay. Or the through the altar room. Well, no, you went to the altar room, you got the, the red crystal. Yeah. Go through the cloth hallway and get to the door. Wow. It's broken on mobile. Oh, no. <laughs> Storage room? It's okay, but the... Um, you, it's called the master's room. You go through the hallway to the master's room. Yeah. And then there's a book puzzle. Huh. Master's room. So it's probably, where's the cloth hallway? This is, the, I'm in the cloth hallway right now. Okay. And then what about all the way to the right? So we got warehouse, That's the cell, warehouse. Uh, warehouse hallway, grounds. Maybe it's this room that I haven't gotten right here. Yeah, it might be. So I'm gonna pull this up. I can't see. Okay, I'm gonna go straight. I'm just checking the map like a lot. Okay. Yeah, it's in that cloth hall. But, like that's right before the okay. where you're supposed to go. Sacred water, okay. I'm looking for doors in the dark here. Oops. All right. Ah, God damn it. It also is hard because... Oh, thanks for the follow, butt planet. I appreciate that. Um, it also sucks. Oh my god, my train of thought is gone. I don't know. So wait, it's just said it's at the end of the cloth hallway? 
says head you're in the cloth hallway head all the way to the door that we haven't checked it's the door we ignored where the blue dot was dug and it says second floor oh floor. okay so maybe you yep. go upstairs yep there's a little book puzzle yep i'm not sure if you ever want to have me on again but i also would pause it since you like gamecube um eternal darkness yeah that's something i never i never played so i would be entranced yeah i have that one we should we should play that one for sure i'm down i'm always Actually, down i'm always down to have people come back yeah i'm gonna <clears throat> snag kuan right now for two thousand dollars <laughs> There's also Kudelka. That one's weird. Kudelka? Yeah, it was a JRPG um, survival horror game that was uh, made by people who broke off from Square Enix huh. in 2000. Yeah, just drop a casual two grand on Kuon. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm doing it. Did you ever play it? Yeah, I, I played it. It's fucking hard, though. Oops, I'm going downstairs. I wanted to go upstairs. God damn it. Where's the staircase? Maybe I need to go through the family altar room or something upstairs. Mm, yeah, I think that's where you go. Okay. I'm assuming through those two doors. Yeah, let me. Well, maybe. I don't know. It's okay. We've been going for two hours, so this is usually like how far I go. So, you know, if we don't get that far nice. in Fatal Frame, it's it's totally fine. Yeah. I guess you're right. Two hours. Nice. Yeah, I, 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 my old goal was like I aim for three hours, but I think like two and a half hours is good for me personally. You know. Yeah. It's like decent amount of time. Not too short. Not too long. Okay. This is. I'm pretty Wait, sure this that, is. Oh, that's funny. I was reading Sophia's. What, you what are those? Oh, it's near. Cute. Yeah, those are my those are my cute little emotes. Oh, um, oops! I can't claim the bonus. Um, when you stepped on the pattern on the floor, you felt it sink down a little. Hmm. You see the C power up lens. Okay. Finds the location of a spirit. Extends duration. Cool. <clears throat> I've been on a roll lately. Like, I've been streaming. This is my fifth day in a row streaming. Oh, my God. Yeah. I don't know. I, uh, after I figured out my audio issues, streaming has become a lot more fun because it's not, like, stressful. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's not just, like, yeah. oh, God, I have to stream and not know what's going on and i'm stressed but now that i figured out my audio issues i feel like i've been doing a lot more can you stand here mio please mio stand here oh my god she's not gonna stand here oh thank you Je ah, i'm out of water I need to go get more water, but we'll probably wrap up stream soon anyway, so. Yeah. I like how I put Fatal Frame on and I'm going to make no progress in it whatsoever, but it's fine. I know. I'm kind of... <laughs> I'm looking up. I'm like doing my... I'm it's not your fault. It's not your fault. 
I know, but I'm looking at maps to find that master's bedroom for you. It's so weird. I thought it was upstairs, but... I think I found a good map. Yeah. Master's room 22. It is... I'm just wandering around in the dark. Uh, okay. Um... There it is. I found out where it's at. Okay. Kind of. It's like what you were saying yeah. earlier. It's like what you were saying earlier, though. It's like there's specific ways to get to certain spots of the, like, yeah. area. So it's like, even if you do know where it is, it's like, do you know how to get there, you know? Yeah. That sucks. It is upstairs. I guess they're both second floor. Okay. Oh shit, Bluest Rose redeemed Let me see. Cat Tell a Story. I gotta, hold on, oh, I gotta tell a story. Do it. Uh, let's see, what's on my list? Stream stories. Oh, that's so funny. I guess I should play too. Oh, Simon, if you're still here, I have, I have on my list, um, my friend shitting their pants at the Bluegrass Festival. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, let's Is that see. in San Francisco? That was me and Simon went to a Bluegrass Festival in, or was it Tennessee? Mm. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah, okay, I'll tell this story. So I broke up with my high school boyfriend, and I made him a bunch of cosplays. Um, this was when I was like 18. I made him a bunch of cosplays. I made him like a quail man cosplay. I made him like an executor cosplay. Uh, oh my God. I had like a That's bunch of his sweet. shit, um, just like around my house. So then when we broke up, I just decided to just burn all of his cosplays. Oh wow. <laughs> I just burned all of his cosplays. I burned all of, all of his shit. You know, just super melodramatic when I was 18. Uh, you know, classic, classic, like, art school kid behavior, really. Yeah, yeah. Wait. Bonus, bonus story, me and Killed Off Queer used to sync our iPods to Lady Gaga and then dance yeah. in the sprinklers in the middle of the night. <laughs> In the park. <laughs> that was super sweet. Super sweet. All right. I, I guess I'll just end stream here because I'm just wandering around like a fool. I know. It's I okay. could point you, but I also it's okay. it's been two and a half it's hours. Okay. I don't yeah. want to like, it's all exhaust good. you. It's all good. All right. Thank you so much for joining Boom. me, by the way. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'd love to do it again. Yeah, whenever. we should. Um, we'll definitely. Finals are over. So. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. do. We'll definitely do more. Um, was there a story about the pooping in the pants, or was that? I'll it? save it for another time. I don't want to embarrass Simon. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, um. Yeah. So I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna do a, a stream about magical girls. We're doing a stream about the history really? of magical girls tomorrow. Oh my god. So that'll be really cool. Look forward to that. It's like a little presentation. Um, yeah, and then check out Killed Off Queer on their channel. And let's see yep, yep. if we can find somebody to raid. If there's anyone that's on. I could raid Vectroid. That's kind of ballsy of yep, me. Bro. But maybe I'll fucking do it. Nah. I What's raid do? So raid Does it raiding. Like send all your yeah. So it sends all your followers to someone else's chat. Let's go to Lucky Bun because I like Lucky Bun. Nice. Uh, yeah. Let's let's raid Lucky Bun. I think they're a really nice person. So raid Lucky. Bun. Um. They don't really need me to raid them, but they're a way bigger streamer than me. But I just I just like their content so. Yeah, go in there, give Lucky Bun some love, and I'll be back tomorrow with anime history. So 
Thank you again, Killed Off Queer. Thanks, everyone, for hanging Thank out. You. We'll definitely have another Killed Off Queer stream in the future. Yay. So look forward to that. All right.